Michael, I've sat behind you in the booth, so I know the way you do your job, and I know you're focused on every at-bat, but what was it like to call those judge at-bats this season when at any moment we could see some of what you and I and Bob just discussed, just these lasers, these line drives, these historic displays by judge? Well, I mean, the first 59, Jack, they were a lot of fun. I mean, you're just <laughs> sitting there and you're going, wow, I can't believe that I'm watching this in real time. But 60, 61, and 62, everybody had an opinion on how the call should go. And you just had to block that all out and do your job and hope that you didn't mess up a call that was important for him. And one of the nicest things that happened was in, in uh, Arlington, Texas, after he hit the home run after the first game of the doubleheader, um, I, I went down to the clubhouse and um, he had said to, he said to me, I, I guess it was the next day, yeah, I uh, went down to the clubhouse before the game and he stopped me and said, that was a real good job on that call. I, I mean, I don't know if I agree with him, but the fact that I always, people always ask me about these big calls. I never want to mess it up for the guy because it's always connected to him. And if you got a guy stumbling or saying something awful, that's a bad reflection on the call. And I, I didn't want that. And the fact that he liked it meant a lot. Yep. He, you nailed it. There's no doubt about that.